this is the famous Dr. Mando, the prophet. That's why Dr. Harrison was saying, when you look at him, he's a real prophet. Isn't he? Now, I'll say something that will, will, will upset some of you. This man comes from the greatest cities in the world, New York City. Now, in America, or the, or any, anybody who sends you money to Kenya, it must go through New York City. Whether it's a transfer from Japan, from London, England, it must go through where? The stock exchange is determined in New York. And this man lives in New York and be, decides to be a missionary in Kenya. And sometimes we want to be on social media when we're not social. And so everybody goes on social media and says, who is that guy? He's poor, he's broke, he's crying. He's... And this man has grace on his life. When I was still at Emperor Plaza, he preached for us. I took him to my sister in Uganda, Prophet Imelda. They were building a building and he raised them so much stupid money. You know stupid money? The money you look at and say, what is this for? And he prof I mean, not manipulative, not anything, but speaks with authority. He has prophesied over this country, the presidencies and the changes. And prophet, man, we are grateful that left the land of America. All these people want to go to America. They are lining up every day. They are applying for green cards every day. They are paying for visas every day. You, an American who is successful from Manhattan, and you come here to Kenya, we appreciate you, man. We appreciate you. Yeah, we appreciate you. Praise the Lord, everybody. You know, I just want to say one thing. <clears throat> when the move of God comes, and you get really filled with the Holy Ghost, you begin to attack all of these loopholes in your life. Lift your hands, everybody. Anything that where the enemy was creeping in, like Matthew, uh, the scripture says, while they were sleeping, the enemy came and sowed the tares. Mm -hmm. I prophesy to you right now that everything the devil brought is leaving you today. Amen. Because the presence of God is here in this place. Lift your hands and receive right now. The apostle, the great, our great archbishop friend, what a loving man, what a beautiful spirit in him, what an amazing man of God. And he spoke to us and said that faith to believe for something new, mm. it's tied to your self-image. Mm. And mm. anything that came to mar the image, to mess the image, to mm. break the vessel, mm. I prophesy that it's being broken off of you right now. Mm. And the whole, and the Lord, I see the, the, the potter's wheel, the potter uh, putting him, you like clay and putting it back together again, like the scripture says, he'll, he'll, put, he'll put you back in the thing and make you again. How many can believe for that? And you're a giant. I, I said this the other day, last night I think it was, that you're, you're royalty. You're a king if you're a man. You're a queen if you're a woman. Your babies are princes Amen. and princesses. And, and, and I want to say one thing. With the filling of the Holy Ghost in you, and you get the devils out everywhere. It's repentance. God is going to, let me tell you, let me prophesy something right here. After we leave this meeting tonight, Apostle, I hear the Lord saying right now, he's going to fall on people in their houses. Tonight, you're going to be tossing and turning. Tomorrow, some of you are going to go on a fast. The Lord spoke to me while I was sitting here to do some fasting uh, in the coming days. And, and, and you're going to just feel the new visitation of God. We're here in this place, but I'll tell you, God has fallen in the city of Nairobi again. Amen. The new move of God is happening through this event. Let me tell you something. This is very historic. And you're going to be visited by God. And as the Lord begins to seal off these cracks, you know, the open doors, and you repent and cry and see it. I had my eyes closed last night, and I saw the strangest creatures in my vision. I was like, you devil, you're over there, you're there. I saw them, and, I, and they just begin to dissolve and disappear. Why was I seeing that? Because... The, the things have tried to creep in. Lift your hands. Say every bit of it is going out of me today. Every bit in of the it name is of going Jesus. out of me today. In the name of and Jesus. And as you begin to rise in fullness of power, guess what happens? Guess what? Say what? What? Guess what? 
If you're Indian, you say, what? <laughs> Guess what? Say what? What? Economic breakthrough is going to begin to happen. Amen. I prophesy not only over you, but the nation of Kenya. The Lord told me many millionaires are going to be walking around, many multi-millionaires, and the ceiling of the banking systems and the economic and the central bank and all these systems and things are going to be broken. And people, it's not going to be an uncommon thing for you to be wiring around million, even to millions of dollars. How many can receive that in Jesus' name? If you want to be free in life, you have to have all the options that wealth gives you. Mm. And that's the reason for it. And I prophesy. Are you ready to receive this wave? Yes. I prophesy. That God is going to begin to bless you. I see millionaires in this room. You know, a lot of preachers say stuff like that. I don't say it like that. He said, I'm not manipulative. I don't fool with that manipulation. I speak what I hear and what I see like Jesus did. You want to be successful? See what God says. Hear what he says and do that. Another thing that's going to happen is God is going to fine-tune you into your specific assignment. Yes, sir. Exactly pinpointing what the exact gift is. You say, I'm in ministry. What kind of ministry? What is it? What's the office? What's your lane? In your business, what business? And when you see it, you can seize it. Amen. When you step up and over into the next dimension, God can begin to give you a wide wingspan that you can fly around the world. Many international things are going to begin to happen. I see companies being birthed here right now. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Companies, corporations, business, entrepreneurial ventures, new ministries, new moves. And the, the, the foundation was the word we heard of building your self-image. That I am a giant. I am what God said I am. Now you start there and then the Lord begins to add to you. I see new buildings, I see new houses, I yes. see new land, yes. I see millions of dollars, yes. I see billions of shillings, hear yes. me, it's going to begin to flow through the people of God, you're not going to be poor, you're not going to be struggling, you're not going Amen. to be broke, and the way that you drive out poverty is having the word of God and operating in the word of God, and the devil has no place to stand. How many received that? That God is remaking you. He's Amen. sealing the cracks. He's going to begin to raise you economically. Amen. By the anointing of fire. Lift your hands one more time. Close your eyes, everybody. Apostle, I'm not trying to take uh, an extra minute, but I just feel the Lord is just falling right now. Can you feel the presence of God? Receive right now. There it is. 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 Over here. There's a real anointing falling on people. Over here. Receive. Receive. Yeah. Receive right now. It's happening. It's happening. You're leaving tonight and stepping into another dimension of life. And that is the word of the Lord. Believe his prophets. God bless you. I love you. Thank you. Can we give uh, Apostle Suna the biggest shout of appreciation? Do you love this man? Do you love this apostle? And get behind him and support. I want to do it. I have some things I want to do. And, 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 and thank you, Lord, for thank you, Lord, for all you're doing. Bless your people. We are the head and not the tail. Come on. We are above only and not beneath. We are kings and priests unto the most high. To God be the glory. Amen.